Hello, fit and healthy friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly, a registered dietitian, holistic nutritionist, and fitness coach. And I just got back from Costco, so I wanted to share with you what I picked up while I was there. A lot of clients of mine want to know what are some good healthy options? What can they get at Costco? Because so many of us shop there, and knowing what to purchase that can support a healthy lifestyle and things like weight loss is really helpful. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I tend to purchase there. It may also be helpful to know that I compete in triathlons and running races. So some of my food choices do have to support that, that I may not always recommend for the average person. So some of those are included in this as well. Also, I did a video a few weeks ago too about my Costco shopping trip. So that has more vegan friendly options and some other foods that I didn't include in this video. So if you want more ideas, you can go back and check out that video. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into what I purchased today. All right, so here's kind of what we're looking at. So no particular order. This is totally random as it came out of the car, but these are organic cooked beets. Great for adding into salads or doing little snacks with. Um, you can take them on the go. They're already done because beets are kind of hard to cook. So really good healthy option, also good for athletes. And then we pretty much always get some sort of chicken. Um, just keep that frozen so it lasts a long time. And then if you guys haven't had these bitchin' sauce, these are a really good dip or sauce that you can put on things. Um, they're made primarily with uh, just nuts and pretty clean ingredients, as you can see. So spinach, almonds, pretty simple. So a really good, nice, healthy dip for vegetables or crackers or anything like that. And then these are some beef kebabs. Uh, I don't know that there's necessarily anything particularly healthy about them, to be honest, but we really like Greek food and sometimes we just need a change in pace of the proteins we're eating. And I like having stuff like this around to just throw into the microwave and cook really fast when you don't have much time for cooking. And then back to healthy foods, um, these almond flour tortillas, I really like these. I can't do gluten anymore, so these are a really good option. They're very tasty, work well for tortillas or wraps or anything like that. And then, oh, today I got a rotisserie chicken. Again, not that it's particularly healthy, but it's a really good, easy protein. And I am just tired of cooking my same old chicken. So I got this today just for ease. And then this is actually random from Sprouts, but I bought a basil plant today so I can have that to add into pastas and salads. And then spinach is just a staple. I always buy spinach to put into shakes, to do salads. This is gluten-free bread. Um, it's pretty good. I haven't tried all the gluten-free breads out there, but this one is pretty decent from the ones I've tried. So good option if you can't do gluten. Bananas, we pretty much always have these to go into protein shakes as well. And then MCT oil is a good option if you want some good fats. And this is really good for athletes um, because it processes in the body more like a carbohydrate than it does a fat. So really good way to get some good fats in. Again, we put those into mostly protein shakes. And then I've never tried these before, but they're paleo friendly organic chicken meatballs. And the ingredients are pretty clean in these. So can't necessarily recommend them. I've never tried them before, but going to give them a try. Again, if you can't tell this week, I, <laughs> I'm just kind of sick of cooking the same old chicken and I need different meats to change things up. And then we always get these organic free range eggs. Ideally pasture eggs, eggs are better, but I don't think Costco sells those. So we generally get these, although they are not the most ideal type of egg, but they're better than just, you know, your, your typical farm raised egg. And then these two are more of like athlete food. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend these as a good healthy snack, but I use these because when I'm training, I need a lot of carbohydrates and quick sugar and that type of thing that's really light in the stomach. So I'll use this like before a long run or a long bike. And then these kind minis, we take these on long bike rides so that we have a little something besides carbs to fill our bellies. They're just like a perfect little, like about this size of snack, um, or just makes a really good small snack in the afternoon if you're hungry. Macadamia nuts are a staple that we like as a good healthy fat source and with some protein in there. Almonds are another uh, staple, so got some of those. And then, haven't tried this before. This is actually a new one that I haven't seen at Costco before. This is Barramundi um, sea bass. So I normally do salmon, 
but we're gonna try a different version of fish this time. And then broccoli florets, these are frozen, just really easy to throw into like pretty much any dish, ground turkey, pasta, um, you know, veggie bowls, anything like that. So I always like to keep frozen vegetables around because they don't go bad and they cook much quicker. So those are just kind of a nice, healthy, convenient food. Um, my husband eats the sourdough bread. If you're gonna eat like white glutinous bread, then sourdough is your best option. Ideally fresh, but this one is just from Costco. And then organic dried mango. So these are a good healthy snack again, good for just like midday little sugar fix or road trips or um, athletic training. A good way to fuel the body with a more natural source of sugar. All right, so that is it for this week. I'm curious to know what healthy finds have you gotten at Costco? Drop those in the comments down below. And if you need help kind of trying to figure out what to eat, what's healthy, I do have meal plans available on my website. So I have a gluten and dairy free meal plan, a vegetarian meal plan, and a six week just kind of general health meal plan. So you can always check those out if you need some ideas on how to put all of these foods together. Also, one thing I will note is this week was kind of a like protein heavy shopping trip. Uh, we do eat carbohydrates. We definitely need that for endurance workouts, my husband and I. So normally a lot of these foods, we will pair them with things like brown rice, sweet potatoes or white potatoes or some sort of gluten-free or whole grain pasta. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. And until the next one, blessings on your health and fitness journey.